As a respiratory therapist, you are required to collect an ABG sample, interpret the results, and use that information to provide the best care possible for the patient. Of course, this is true for adults, but it's also true for infants and neonates as well. In this video, we're going to break down a sample TMC practice question on how to best treat a neonatal patient after interpreting their ABG results. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A newborn 28-week gestational age neonate is being treated in an oxygen hood with an FiO2 of 50%. The physician believes that the patient has infant respiratory distress syndrome. The following blood gas results were obtained. pH of 7.36, PaCO2 of 38, bicarb of 25, base excess of zero, and a PaO2 of 46. Based on these results, which of the following would you recommend? A. Start nasal CPAP at 5 to 8 centimeters of water pressure. B. Increase the oxygen hood concentration to 100%. C. Intubate and begin mechanical ventilation with PEEP. Or D. Obtain a chest x-ray to look for a pneumothorax. Do you know the answer? Let's break it down. To get this one correct, you must be able to interpret the infant's blood gas results and make the necessary changes. You can see that the acid base status of this infant is normal because the pH and PaCO2 are both within the normal ranges. With that said, you can see that this patient has severe hypoxemia by looking at the PaO2 value. This is most likely due to shunting caused by the infant respiratory distress syndrome. So in this case, an initial trial of nasal CPAP should be attempted before intubation and mechanical ventilation. If there is no improvement, then mechanical ventilation would be indicated. But usually you want to try to avoid it if at all possible, which is why a trial of nasal CPAP would be a good option for this patient. None of the other answer choices really make sense in this case, so now you know that the correct answer has to be A. Start nasal CPAP at 5 to 8 centimeters of water pressure. Well, what'd you think? Was it helpful going through this practice question? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the promotion that's going on by using the special link. I'll drop it right below this video down in the description. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. I will drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.